Welcome back guys, we're going to do another weekly update. And this update I'm really going to do is check for worms. And I know a bunch of y'all know how to check for worms. I know some of y'all probably do, you know, like why to show us again. But there's some new farmers out there wanting to know how to check your goats for worms, check your hoofs. And I'm going to show y'all with mine since it's the, it's the month to do it. So I'll let y'all go. See y'all back soon. We're back guys. And so watch this. So I'm say... Say we're gonna catch her real quick. And when he's your cat, she's put your legs around her head. She ain't gonna move. You see, she got some sinuses being all the uh, pollen as of lately. But you, uh, on checking for worms, you get their eyelids right here. And you say one person ain't very easy, but you get their eyelids and you see how it's a little light pink. I mean she's on borderline of worming you really want that dark red color if it's white you better start worming in a heartbeat that's all i'm gonna say and we'll check another one i never i'll get that big white one right there because she's always had a bad problem with worms so i guess it And those same things guys if you're doing it by yourself just easier just to wrap your legs around them you guys see her eyes right there and as you can tell a little pink a little dark red she's i'm gonna probably give them all another dose of worming just for the safety of it but the main reason why we're getting them up is for worming today a lot of worming is going on and also, we're switching in with bucks. This is Uno. He is a registered New Zealand buck. I went down south in Biloxi, 50 miles from the coast, and got him. And here's our older, here's our other buck. This is a Spanish buck, but it's, it's just this time to go. I got his babies. He's bred about all of these except that one right here and this one right here, but all the rest are bred off of him. So. I bought him for 150, but I'm hoping he'll get 150 back at the cell barn. Being that it's gonna be, we might not have another sale. It's gonna be like 15 people there. It's next Saturday. I work at a goat barn, as y'all guys don't know. And it shouldn't be a big, huge sale, but being with the income that everybody's been getting with goats and yards, y'all can say, look, they are spoiled rotten guys. They are like spoiled, pitch rotten. But I'm hoping the billies go high being nobody's bought goats in a while. Being they need them right now. Nest, like a necessity, if you want to say. Y'all hear? That's the little guard donkey, guys. That's Jenny, what we call her. She's pretty pissed right now. I got her whole herd up in here. But the main reason I'm scared of right now is them two right there, that Billy and that donkey. If you're going to get a Billy and a donkey together, get ready for absolutely a fight. It's going to happen. But you guys, I'm going to teach y'all how much to give a goat about these size. And I'll be right back to y'all. So guys, on our CC doses, like how much to give warmer. If you get one of these dewormers, look on the back of it. It shows you your uh, stuff. Let me try to get zoomed in better on it. But... Since it ain't going to zoom in really good. You got your 25 pound, which is 0 0.6. You have your, you got your 50 pound, which is 1.2. A 75 pound goat's 1.7. 100 pounds is 2.3 and 125 is 2.9. For this Kiko right here, she's she's had shows before. As you can see her right here. I'm going to give her around 2 cc's being she's heavyweight. She looks good. She has the rack I want. And she's supposed to have her babies in July. I'll, I'll keep y'all guys updated on her. And I'll probably give her some. I'm going to tell y'all. They say the boars are the worst to get worms. I've only had to worm her one time since I've had her. She's an amazing mama. Good boar. I'm going to check her eyes real quick just to make sure. But, guys, that's about it. Y'all leave a comment, like, subscribe. Y'all tell me what y'all want to see. Y'all want to see chickens. Y'all want to see rabbits, how the rabbits are doing. I did have baby swamp rabbits. Which is a good thing right now. I'm planting a garden coming soon. But y'all guys just let me know what y'all want to see. This will help out a bunch. I know some of y'all have asked. Y'all want to see this. Y'all see this. And y'all will get to see this. I just hope y'all can like 
ask a lot more. And if y'all want to help me out or say something I did wrong, y'all tell me. Like, it'll help out a bunch. And also, y'all guys see the handlebars. That's for if they get their head to the fence. Or if my dad said we're just going to ride them when the cars quit. So, you know, fun. Guys, thank y'all for watching. I'll see y'all later. Bye.